Hey guys, welcome to the Pipe Squatch channel. It's been a while. I actually kind of forgot how to even turn my camera on. Today, I'm gonna to stray from the norm a little bit. I'm gonna ask your opinion on stuff. Got a couple of options of things I wanna do with the channel. Still smoking a pipe, enjoying that. That's my relaxing time. I've got my Dragon Briar pipe with me and I'm smoking some of the Esoterica Pembroke out of it right now. Question I wanna ask you is, I've had a lot of people asking me to do a bunch of different broad spectrum discussions on the Pipe Squatch channel. I do the pipe reviews, I do the pipe tobacco reviews, I've done some Game of Thrones reviews, I've talked a little bit about weapons, uh, I've done business discussions, talked about customer service, gonna do some more of that. And as I was talking to a friend of mine, I'm not gonna drop names, I don't want it to sound like I know somebody famous or something, but Johnny over at uh, 180 Second Ideas slash Gun Gossip. We were talking about, you know, things I could do with the channel. Should I stick with the pipe moniker, the Pipe Squatch moniker? My nickname was always Squatch, so Zeke Squatch, Pipe Squatch. It kind of fitted, fitted, fitted. It kind of fit, and I wanted to do that more broad spectrum thing. So, my question to you is, Doing a more broad spectrum thing, I'm still gonna have the Pipe Squatch videos, same logo. Maybe I put that in a playlist and that's the pipe reviews, the pipe tobacco reviews. Then I have some business Squatch stuff and then I have philosophy Squatch or movie Squatch, TV Squatch, or whatever, or just movies or TV, it doesn't have to say Squatch at the end of every single one. But I'm thinking about changing the channel name to Zeke Squatch. You know, my nickname was Squatch, first name Zeke. It's easier to find. Or do I just go Zeke Stout, because that's my name? But then, do I sound arrogant when I have a channel that's just named me? So there's a lot of questions I'm, I'm bouncing around there. One of the reasons you don't see me a lot, and yes, I am lighting a pipe with a match. That is the old traditional way. Some people say you get better flavor out of it. If you let the sulfur burn, which that was a lot of sulfur. <coughs> if you let the sulfur burn, Tastes about the same to me. So there's my lighting a pipe with a match review. What do you think? Should I go Zeke Squatch? Should I go Zeke Stout? Should I go stick with Pipe Squatch and just let everybody figure all the other stuff out that I'm doing? Nah, I think I'm gonna go one of the others. Other question I had, I, speaking to another good friend of mine, not gonna drop names, 17, dang it, I almost said 1772. <sighs> I've done it three times on two different videos. Anyways, 1972 Woodsman here on YouTube, he recently started a Patreon account. A lot of my friends in the YouTube world are doing Patreon accounts. Is that something that's viable for what I'm gonna be doing? Should I just launch it and see what happens? I think I'm gonna create one tonight just to see, but the reason I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately is this takes a lot of time. And as a lot of people will tell you when they open these Patreon accounts, they have to supplement their income in a way to get that extra time. These videos are not that hard to do for me. I just sit at my desk and I talk and I annoy the crap out of you. But I, I think it's something that I really enjoy doing. I wanna do more of it. I wanna get more broad spectrum. And to do that similar to 1972 Woodsman, you know, it's gonna take a little bit extra because it's really hard to get monetization on YouTube. It's not like it was, you know, even three years ago, five years ago. Is that something I wanna to continue to do? So all of this is up in the air. I just kinda of wanna get everybody's input and see what you have to say about it. Now, I do wanna talk about another thing. And I just got back from SHOT Show. SHOT Show was interesting. In about a week or two, you're gonna see a video of me talking about my SHOT Show experience on the Breach Bang Clear YouTube channel. But, Let's just say it was interesting. Not a whole heck of a lot of innovation going on in our industry right now. I want my laser gum, dadgummit. Yeah, I, I said laser gum. I meant laser gun. But I want it. There's just not that innovation. So as I'm walking around, these thousands and thousands and thousands of square feet of, you know, manufacturers and outdoor equipment and hunting and fishing and whatever you can think of. Well, not so much fishing, but hunting, archery, guns, camping, gear, swag, lots and lots of patches. I started getting a little bummed, not really bummed, but more angry 
because I'm looking at social media and as all these people are posting their new things, granted, some of them, ooh, a new AR-15, whoop-de-doo. There was a lot of negativity floating around our industry. And I look through social media, if I go to Facebook, you know, there's a lot of people on my Facebook account that aren't in the firearms industry, that aren't in the weapons industry, but there's negativity being thrown around on there. And I started getting so mad thinking, gosh, our world is going to hell in a handbasket. Then I get back from SHOT Show, and a week and a half later, I go to a concert. One of the best live bands I've ever seen, right here, Kill Switch Engage. Anthrax was there too. And I'm guilty of it. I was posting some social media stuff. <clears throat> but the majority of the time, you see this. People holding up their phones and filming instead of enjoying the show. And, and I kind of, it hit me and I only filmed like a few one minute clips and I didn't enjoy the rest of the show. I was at a Rob Zombie concert once where one of his most popular songs, he refused to play until every phone was in people's pockets. So they would enjoy and experience it. And that's when it hit me. Our world's not necessarily going to hell in a handbasket. It's more that stupid people have a platform now. All the stupid, hateful stuff that's being slung around on social media that may have been people's minds 20 years ago, but they didn't have a platform to discuss it and throw their vile hatred blah all over the internet. And you think, well, gosh, but we see a lot of it, so it must be increasing. I want to posit that it is actually possibly decreasing because maybe I'm using a very small number because it's easy for me to use. I hate maths. Let's say 100 people 20 years ago were the stupid people that didn't have a platform. And over the last 20 years, that 100 people were exposed to a lot of new cultures, a lot of new things on the internet, a lot of new education, things they never would have learned on their own, never would have picked up unless they saw a video or read a blog or something like that. And out of that 100 people, maybe 30, 40 of them started going, huh, I'm being a stupid person and being mean. So maybe it's just more out there now because of the internet. That platform is giving the, the, the stupidity and the hate and the ignorance a, a broader audience so it feels like it's happening a lot more. But really, it's just they didn't have a platform 20 years ago. Now they do. So hopefully these people will gradually get exposed but they'll start to learn a little bit more about the world and how they're, everybody doesn't think exactly like them and doesn't look exactly like them and doesn't believe exactly like them. And oh, I need to quit being a dick. Hopefully that's what's going on. So I went from being pretty ticked off and, and a little bummed out to actually that whole thought process gave me a little hope uh, for what's going on in the world. So. That's kind of all I wanted to say. Stupid people getting a platform. Yeah. But also, I wanted to ask your opinion on that. What do you think? Zeke Squatch, you like it? Go with my name, Zeke Stout. You like it? Or make it hard on me and stick with Pipe Squatch as the channel name instead of just a folder of playlists. And I have to explain the pipe thing on every video. Which I'm still doing a bunch of pipe videos too. So, anyways. Yeah, that took a really long time for me to get a match out. It's over. Until next time, keep your pipes loaded. Slow down. Philosophize and enjoy life. See you guys.